all good. All right, my first guest, my first guest starred in The Scorpion King and Walking Tall. Well, starting today, you can see him in the new movie, Doom. Please welcome The Rock. That's gotta be a good feeling. Oh, it's so good. So good to be back here, Conzi. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Only I, you can get away with calling me can Conzi. I call you Conzi? Okay. Yeah, without yeah. unleashing my fury. Um, <laughs> I am physically intimidating, aren't I? Just admit it. Just to, admit. Well, sure, to a blind person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about my odor? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. All is right. It, was then. that what Even, that is? Yeah, yeah. Um, now, so much to talk about here tonight. First of all, we're getting towards Halloween. I know you have a daughter. Yeah. And I'm curious. I mean, my daughter just turned two, and she's not quite old enough yet to even know what Halloween is. Right. But I'm really looking forward to being able to take her trick or treating, which I think would be really fun. It's going to be the best. But but you said there's like a I've heard there's a problem when you go trick or treating with your daughter. Is well, that right? you know, here's the thing. Well, actually, when she, when she was two or about two and a half, we took her trick or treating, mm -hmm. and you know, it's all about the kids, as you know. And so for her, it's her very first Halloween. She's really nervous. She doesn't know what's happening. She's in a princess outfit. It's princess. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, same thing. You'll go as I'm sure. But then. We... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God, there's a can of whoop ass here somewhere. It's in here somewhere, and if I release it, you're just gone, man. You're just love. gone. It's all love. Uh, um, so, yeah, anyway, so. So, anyway, we would walk her up. It's like, yeah, hit the doorbell, and she's kind of looking back, and she hits the doorbell, and. The person comes out, answers the door, says, oh, look, wow, what a little pretty princess. It's, oh, my God, it's The Rock. <laughs> honey, honey, it's The Rock. Get The Rock a Snickers. Get, you know, here, take my wife, whatever it is. And take my wife, take really? Take my wife. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is The Rock! Uh, uh, Bring sense. women for The Rock! <laughs> <laughs> More <fun. laughs> yeah. I love that. That's your life. Uh, so so it, it, it takes the focus yeah, away from her. It does, and she's standing there. She doesn't know what, what's happening. And so, and so after that, it's like, you know what? I, I just want to... I just want to make sure that uh, I just want to make sure we go. I don't sure. want to be bothered. Have you, know, you thought of going uh, you know, uh, dressed as something? Um, you know, you could. You could wear a mask. I don't, well, well, like who? What well, we have right here. I think you might like this. These are available in the NBC store. I just think this. Right, so hold that. That's the most frightening. People would say that looks like Conan O'Brien, but the body is different. Looks somehow. like B. Arthur, right? <laughs> don't mess with B. Arthur. B. Arthur will rip your head I off. Know she She's will. good. Now, um, I have a question for you. Uh, years ago, I was reading some interview that you were doing, and you, you made a reference to your, your nether region. A lot of uh, guys, you know, do that occasionally. And you referred to it, you have a euphemism for your nether region. You call it the people's strudel. <laughs> the people's strudel. Ow! Yeah. That's the weirdest nickname I've ever heard for that region of a man. The people's strudel. I know, of all the things. Of, yeah. Of all the Behold things. the people's strudel. <laughs> uh, biggin, yes, as they call him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The people's strudel. What it, possessed you to do that? I, I don't know. It's just one of those silly right. things, you know, as, as just idiotic guys do. Sure, right? yeah. And, and mine is yeah. strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Well, what, what, what kind of icing? Yeah, <laughs> depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> this whole show is broken now. It's right into the toilet. Yeah, I, I well, that's, where, we, that's the... where we're comfortable. Uh, <laughs> when you uh, began your movie career, it's interesting because uh, you're, you're such a popular guy. People really have a, really like you. You started your movie career, and within seconds. They were running like crazy tabloid stories about you, yeah, and I'm curious yeah. if you know why. What happened? Um, well, you know this this one p particular uh, one, and I'll, I'll tell you what it was. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, it started where yeah when I first broke in, into movies with uh, about five years ago, Scorpion mm -hmm. King. Uh, no one really knew my humor or knew what I was like, really. So I would go on set, and um, you know a guy would walk by and be like, "Hey, nice ass," and you know he kind of turn around <laughs> and be like, yeah, "Yeah, you. I'll see you in the showers." <laughs> You know, like stuff like that. Sure, sure, that's my humor too. <laughs> I, 
I've used that many times. I was just kidding. <laughs> Unless you're not. <laughs> no, but anyway. Are you, are you curious? Behold, strawberry shortcake, yeah. <laughs> So, but what, so, so, so you were just kidding around. You I was were just, just kidding sure, around. Yeah. yeah, and you know, for example, my makeup artist Jeff would come up to me and, and who I'd been with for a long time and say, my God, I pointed his crotch. Is that all you? Right, right. You know, and, and so like, like the next week it was, yeah, in front of like the Inquirer or, so, or some tabloid. It just said, The Rock, uh, Scorpion Queen, gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, I said, yeah, absolutely. Me you start and, hearing uh, from your family and stuff? Like, <laughs> well, that's, wow. yeah, my mom was like, hey, you're on the cover of, of a tabloid. Oh, really? What's it say? Well, it says you're gay. Right. Oh, Isn't nice. that funny how, how moms more just care about you're on the cover of something? Yeah, like, she just loved like, it. Oh, oh, you're on the cover of the, what's it say? Oh, you're a murderer, but it's on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting, yeah. Um, now, let's talk about this. Uh, well, also, we have this, we have this, you're on the cover of Men's Journal, and I see this, and I think, like, you know, magazine cover, that's a big deal, but I hear you're not happy with being on the cover of, men, of Men's Journal. What's the problem? Well, I love the magazine. Right. I was on the cover with them before. Right. Wait What's a, the problem? Right, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. E evil laughs. Well, yeah. the problem with it is, it's just, the, the look I have, it just looks like it's naughty. Like, oh, oh, yeah. like oh, the face. Get in on the face. This yeah, that's... Like... <laughs> Like I'm thinking of Conzi and like, ooh. Oh yes, that humor again. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going for dinner tonight? Yeah. Um, now let's talk about Doom. This is exciting. Doom, yeah, uh, based on an extremely popular video game. Right. Have you played the video game much? Um, I, I did. I was a big fan of it right. when it first came out, about right. 92 or 93. It was funny. The very first time it came out, my buddies were like, dude, you got to play Doom. You got to play it. I was like, okay, cool. I play it. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting nauseous for some reason. I'm like, what, what the hell? Why, right, why right. am I getting nauseous? Then I read something about a week later in an article saying that if you're not used, and at that time, the first person perspective was the very first time. They were pioneers in making sure that happened. If you're not used to that sort of chaos and right. that sort of visual, it makes you nauseous. Right. So I was one of the ones who got nauseous. So it's just like it's all the moving around and looking at things, and it, you, you, you sort of lose the horizon for a second. Yeah, you, like the movie's not like that. There's right. actually a, a, a scene in the movie that is like that, just one scene, but the whole game is kind of sure. like that. For me at that time, I was like, ooh, you know, my little, my tummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my tummy. Um, uh, well, we have a clip here. What do we need to know to, to help set um, this up? Well, right now, we just need to know what this movie is. Big movie, uh, big monsters, big guns. Uh, big Daddy Strudel's got a big gun. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm going to go shoot the monsters. Yeah. And then we're going to go eat strawberry shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> raccoon, save me! Save me, raccoon! Save me! <laughs> it's the homophobic raccoon with a jetpack. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this clip from Doom. Did you get it? Pinky, yes, anything gets through that door, use an ST grenade. It cannot get back to Earth. Oh, he pops an ST in there, he's gonna blow the arc. Reaper, kid, pairs. Cover formation, sweep the corridors, go. Destroyer, comportment, stay here. Shut the airlock, maintain a perimeter. Where you going? I'm going to the armory. I think we're gonna need something with a little bit more kick. All right, Doom. Doom is in theaters now. Hey, thanks so much for coming by. The Rock, everybody. Henry Mitchell coming up. We'll take a break.